morning, just past dawn, and I'm heading out to get our birds, our meat birds, our rock Cornish hens, slaughtered and ready to be eaten and marinated and barbecued and baked. I'm here with my Cornish hens. They're six weeks old. They're actually big for the age that they are, but they're actually a little bit premature. And I'm here at the slaughterhouse getting ready because I'm gonna have a huge barbecue next week and I'm gonna have these birds, bye-bye, in my tummy very, very soon. These are well cared for birds. You don't buy birds that quality in the market. Right. You know, they're homeworn free. They're, you know, they've been cared exactly. for. Exactly. Uh, a little bit more than you're going to see in a commercial operation. And my own thoughts on it, they're much tastier than whatever you buy in the market. Absolutely. I'm and I've had people come back time and time again. Now you've got us hooked. I know. Well, we should have never did this because now we're going to have to raise birds the rest of our lives. I know, exactly. I've been doing it for 35 years. I don't know any different. Right. Gotcha. My kids grew up on home raised everything. Nice. There were times when the, I have three children they were home, there were times when we would sit down and eat a complete meal from soup to nuts, and it was all grown right here on the farm. That's beautiful. Uh, so healthy. It was our beef, it was our vegetables, uh, everything. I mean, they used to have a 100 by 100 garden. It was nothing to can. My wife would put up 250 quarts of tomatoes alone. Wow. Just tomatoes. And then we did beans, and corn, pickle beets. Uh, wow. Pickles.